I'm sure that in this year of 2012, you have had to stand in some hard places where troubled waters were surrounding you, even though you carried the presence of God within you. If that's you on tonight, I want you to muster up enough energy, put everything on pause, and offer God an I made it praise. Oh, you ought to let the Lord hear you. You ought to let the devil hear you. Come on, give him a I made it praise. You thought you were going to kill me, but I made it. You thought you were going to make me crazy, but I made it. You thought you were going to make me jump off a bridge, but I made it. You thought you had the victory, but I made it because I serve a God. After the priest, those carrying the presence of God, after they step out of the waters of Jordan River and place their foot on dry ground, that then, say then, shall then, then the river Jordan return to overflow status. Somebody ought to update your status right now and make it say overflow. Oh, y'all didn't hear that, did you? Where are those Facebookers in the house? You update your status to say everything else. You ought to update it in the spirit to say overflow. You didn't know I was about to switch, but overflow. Tell your neighbor you didn't know I was about to come through like this, but overflow. Tell him I didn't expect it on a Wednesday after Christmas, but overflow. I just spent all my money, but somebody shout overflow. Put a praise right there. Oh, y'all don't want overflow. Maybe it's just for me tonight. Maybe that message is just for me. Maybe it's just for me. Maybe it's just for my leaders because they're the priests of the house. And the Bible said after their feet got out of the troubled waters, that overflow showed up. So maybe it's just for us. But if that thing is for you tonight, I dare you to put a praise on it. I dare you to say overflow is for me. I dare you to say it. I dare you to believe God. Oh, I can hear you saying I said it last year. You never know when you're going to run into your Boaz season. I wrote a book called The Boaz Season. And as I was on my way tonight, the Lord literally began to say to me that the Boaz season is nothing but a season of payback. Because it wasn't until Ruth ran into Boaz that payback began to hit her life. That's why you have to hear God and be prepared to move forward when God speaks for you to move forward. In this season, it's critical that you don't miss God because when God tells you to shift forward this time, he's telling you to shift for your life. When he tells you to move forward this time, blessings, miracles, and overflow is there for you so you cannot miss him in this moment. So there goes Ruth, gleaning in the field with the other women. Isn't it just like God to put the spotlight on you? Jennifer Hudson sang a song, Living Under Your Spotlight. Y'all know it. Don't act like y'all don't listen to that. I rebuke you. You know you know the song. But it's just like God to spotlight you out of all the women in the field. Boaz comes riding through his field to check progress. And he say, we got somebody different. Who's that one in the future? Who is that fan in me with that purple on? He said, I want to know who that one is. And they begin to tell him, this is the one that came back with Naomi. Anybody want to be a this is the one? Sometimes being a this is the one will bless your life. Sometimes being a this is the one will set you up for some good stuff. Because of all you've done, I'm paraphrasing now. He said, because of all you've done for your mother-in-law, I heard about it. The street committee told me about it. Because of every tear of grief you've had to cry for having the courage to show up in Bethlehem, even when you don't serve the true and living God, for every moment of lack that you had, for every moment of discouragement that you had, for every time you went down in the field and came up depressed, he said to Ruth, for every time that you had to do that, the Lord recompense 
do. He said, may the Lord pay you back. See, what excites me about that is God can do for you what nobody else can do for you. And what he was saying to Ruth was, I can't bless you like God can bless you. So the word of release in this house is may the Lord recompense you 